anger, frustration, scarcity and lack are all emotions of the heart. And when the heart chakra is out of balance, these emotions can begin to rise within us and as they do, they can manifest on our outside world and change our experiences, either through an impact to our mind and thought process or through our behaviours and reactions to the challenges and obstacles life will inevitably place in our path. I'm B Sherlock and I'm ever so grateful for your support and more so for your being here on your own journey of self-discovery. If you're finding value in this video, tap on the little like button and together we'll continue to support and inspire others on their journey with the help of you subscribing too. So if by the end of this practice you resonated with the content, it would be great if you could do that as well. If you're feeling tightness in the upper back, shoulders or across the chest, and you notice that you've been a little more angry, frustrated, or have a sense of there just not being enough, then you could be experiencing an imbalance of the heart chakra, Anahata. Use this flow to open the heart space, both front and back. Expand your awareness of your mind and body with conscious connection to the heart. Mini back bends and targeted forward folds will move you into the space of love that can be emanated through the heart and begin to let go of the fear that is driving the scarcity and frustration. Let's meet on the mat. Let's just begin our practice with a moment to arrive with the breath on our mat and in our bodies. So you can ground down through the sit bones, really expand the spine and reach it up to the sky. Take the breath into the seat. And allow it to trickle into the belly. And really open up through the heart space. Notice as the exhale allows the body to soften, the shoulders draw away from the ears, helping with that extra elongation. And the navel gently draws toward the spine. This is a gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. Begin to focus on the heart space. Still maintaining that nice, full Agni Raj breath, filling the torso like water, filling a glass, but paying particular attention to opening the heart space, both in the chest and the upper back. Nice expansion on the inhale. And a gentle softening on the exhale. Really experience the fullness of each inhale. The release of each exhale, letting go of that which no longer serves the body, no longer serves the mind, and no longer serves the heart. Letting go of the full inhale and full exhale, just allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. Try not to alter it in any way. We'll begin with a affirmation of, I give myself permission to feel. You can say that in your mind. I give myself permission to feel. Let's say a few times now while we arrive in this space. And perhaps you come back to this mantra or affirmation throughout the practice. I give myself permission to feel. Gently lower the head. 
slowly flutter the eyelids open. Give the heart a little smile as we roll over the knees. We come to find Balasana Child's Pose. So bring the hips to the heels, extend the arms out long. Bring the forehead to meet the earth. And just take three full Agni Raj breaths here. Filling the seat with the inhale. Allowing the breath to move through the torso into the collarbone. And the body softens on the exhale. Guided by that gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. There's lots happening in the neighborhood today. So we're just going to let go of any distractions. Breathing into our body, taking a moment to feel. Inhale now, we're going to rise to all fours, but continue the movement as we move the body forward. Lower the belly to the earth. Bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. Press the palms into the earth. Lift the chest, lift the chin. So we're just gently pressing into the palms, drawing the forearms towards the torso. Lift the, the head, opening through the heart space, coming into our Sphinx pose. Gentle opening through the upper back, through the lower back. One more full breath here. Hmm. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders, press into the palms, come back up to all fours and the tail back to the heels, come back to child's pose. We're going to move through those two poses in a dynamic series. Just three or four times as we inhale, rise. Bring the belly to the mat. Hands underneath the shoulders now, coming into our baby cobra. Lift the chin, lift the chest, elbows point back. Exhale, press into the palms and the tail back, come back to child's pose. Inhale, wave the body forward. Elbows back, baby cobra. Lift the chin, lift the chest, open up through the collarbone. Nice extension through the spine. Exhale, press into the palms, come back to our seat, child's pose. One more time, inhale, come forward. Lower the belly, elbows point back, baby cobra. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, we're gonna lower the torso towards the earth. We're gonna send the palms towards the back, palms facing down, bring the forehead to the earth. As we inhale, we're gonna press into the pubic bone, press into the palms, lift the heart space. Good, take an exhale. Inhale now, lift the legs, energetically draw the inner thighs toward each other. Coming into our Shalabhasana, Locust Pose. Breathe in, lift and lengthen a little more. Flip the hands, send the palms to the sky. Breathe in, lift, lengthen, lift the legs. Open the heart space. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Remember to breathe in this posture. One more breath. Lift and lengthen. Exhale, release. Bring the palms underneath the forehead. Come into our crocodile pose. And allow the breath and the body to recalibrate here. It's also a wonderful opportunity to ground the heart space into the earth. Full Agni Raj breath. Rising from the seat, opening and expanding through the chest, through the collarbone. Exhale, softens the body, softens the mind. Breathing in, hands underneath the shoulders. Press up to our neutral tabletop. Just take a moment to focus on the breath. 
So as we inhale, breathe in through the nose, it's neutral spine, so we're not dipping at the belly, we're not pressing into the palms to lift up through the heart space at the back. It's just a neutral spine. Let's take one more full Agni Raj breath here. Really sense the breath as it moves from the seat, through the belly, through the heart space, maybe through the back line of the neck. Exhale, navel draws toward the spine ever so gently. In this quiet space, we can meet ourselves here with kindness and compassion. Good. Tucking the toes, sending the tail to the sky as we press into the palms. Come into downward facing dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Internally rotate the elbows toward each other, inviting the collarbones to open. Shoulder blades melt down the back. Navel draws toward the spine. There's a micro bend in the knees. And we gently draw the heels toward the earth. Inhale now, we're going to send the right leg to the sky. Come into three-legged down dog. Bend that top knee, stack and open the hips. Good. Shoulders are square with the earth. Exhale, we're going to bring the knee to the chest. Step the foot between the hands, lower the back knee. Breathe in, sweep the arms forward, rise into a low lunge, but cactus the arms, open the heart space to the sky. Good. As we breathe out, we're going to do an open twist. So we're going to rotate the torso to the left, extend the arms out to the sides. Good. Inhale, come back to center, cactus the arms. Exhale, rotate, open heart. Inhale, back to center, cactus the arms, lift the heart. Exhale, rotate, come into our open twist. Beautiful, inhale, come back to center, lift and open the heart space. Take an exhale. It's as if we're lifting the body away from the earth. Beautiful, exhale, frame the front foot, step back into plank, whole body activation. Take an inhale, exhale, you can lower down knees, chest, chin, or draw the elbows to the side body, lower down, chaturanga. Come to the tops of the feet as you inhale, push through the palms, upward facing dog. Thighs are away from the earth. Shoulder blades melt down the back. Exhale, tuck the toes, send the tail to the sky. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to, left leg to the sky. Bend into that left knee. Stack and open the hips. Shoulders remain square to the earth. Take an inhale. As we exhale, knee comes to the chest. Step through the hands, lower the back knee. Breathe in, sweep the arms forward, rise into our low lunge. Lift and lengthen the, earth, the body away from the earth. Cactus the arms. Shine the heart to the sky. Good. As we exhale now, rotate the torso to the right to give us our open twist. Arms come to shoulder height. Inhale, windmill the arms back overhead, come back into cactus. Exhale, rotate, open twist. Inhale, windmill, come back to cactus. Lift the torso. Good, exhale, final twist. Inhale, come back to our cactus, open and shine the heart to the sky. Good. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step back into plank, whole body activation. Lower down knees, chest, chin, or elbows to side body. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Push through the palms as you inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes. Send the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, gazes to the top of the mat. Step the feet between the hands. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Just allow the head and neck to hang. 
Breathing in, we're going to sweep the arms overhead as we rise into Urdhva Hastasana. Thumbs point back, shoulder blades melt down the back, navel draws toward the spine. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Good, we're going to shift our weight into the left foot now. Bend into the right knee. Sweep the right arm around. You can grasp hold of the ankle either on the outside or the inside, whatever is working for your body today. Find your drishti, find your focus point. Send the left arm up to the sky. Hinge at the hip crease. Fold forward, press the ankle into that back hand, reach through the front hand. We're opening the right space, right heart space to the sky. Inhale, lift, lengthen, focus on the breath. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Taking our final breath here. Inhale, come back to standing, release the right leg to the earth, sweep the arms overhead. Lift, creates expansion through the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Allow the head and neck to hang as we come into Uttanasana. Maybe have a nice deep bend in the knees. Allow the chest to fall onto the thighs. We'll remain here for a few breaths. Really feel into the body. Maybe you're rocking forward onto the toes. Really finding an opening through the back line of the body. Sense the fullness of each inhale. As it opens and expands through the back body. The softness of each exhale. On the next inhale, rise, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Good, shift the weight into the right foot. Bend into that left knee, grasp hold of the ankle with the left hand. Extend the right arm up to the sky. Hinge at the hips, fold forward, press the back ankle into the palm, reach through the front fingertips. Send the breath to the seat. Allow it to lengthen the spine, opening the heart space just that little bit more. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Feel into the body. Feel into the heart space. Feel the opening through the left shoulder. One more breath. Inhale, lift the torso, release the left foot to the earth, sweep the arms overhead nice and long. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Just allow the head and neck to hang. Give the breath and the body time to reconnect. Maybe it's time to remember our intention, our mantra. I give myself permission to feel. One more full breath. Bend into the knees. We're gonna come onto the knees, come onto the shins. Come into our child's pose, but we'll bring this, we'll send the arms towards the back. Just to allow them back to the palms to face the earth forehead rests on the earth as well I'm going to come into our rabbit pose and really open up through the back of the heart space so grasping hold of the heels bring the crown of the head to the earth Good. So you might have to bring the forehead a little closer towards the thighs. Keep hold of the heels, lift the hips, and you'll find a nice opening through the back of the heart space, through the back of the neck. There's minimal pressure on our head. We're just using the leverage of the hands, holding onto the heels to really open that, that stretch through the back of the heart. Remember to breathe. 
One more breath. Lower the heel, the hips back to the heels. Just allow the arms to hang. And a little rest before we move to our next pose. Inhale, rise to a seated position. Just scooch over onto the buttocks. Soles of the feet meet the earth, knees point to the sky. We have a couple of options with this next pose. Bring the heels as close to the We're going to press into the soles of the feet, lift the hips, pull up through the front line of the body, maybe tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest, interlace the hands as we come into our bridge pose. Each inhale lifts the hips a little higher, opening and creating space. Exhale is guided by that gentle contraction of the pelvic floor. Navel draws to spine. If you want to go to the next level, the next pose, I'm just going to lower the hips, come into our full wheel. So you can remain there in bridge or bring the palms bring the fingertips to the shoulders, palms facing down. Again, bring the toes in as close to the hips as you can. Press into the feet, press into the hands, lift the torso, lift up through the heart space, press into the heels of the feet, opening through the hips. Use the breath, inhale, lift, exhale, navel draws to spine. One more breath. Untuck the head. Bend into the elbows, lower the back towards the mat. If you're in bridge, lower the hips. And just allow the torso to rest. Good, bend into the knees. And just draw the knees close to the chest. You can wrap the hands around the shins, maybe rock. Just take one more breath here in this Apanasana. Extend the legs out long. Allow the feet to fall to the sides. Arms rest beside the body, palms facing up. Ready to receive from that permission to feel. Gently tuck the shoulder blades underneath the chest. Draw the chin away from the chest, encouraging the natural curve of the spine, the opening of the heart. Relax all the muscles in the face. Feel the muscles in the neck and the shoulders and the arms follow suit. Notice the ripple effect as the relaxation moves through the remainder of the body. Breathe life into the heart space. Feel into the comfort of your posture. Allow the body to surrender.
become aware of your breath. Notice the inhale and the exhale, no different to the ebb and flow of the ocean's natural tides. Become aware of the points of the body connected to the earth. And begin to feel into the fingers and the toes. Maybe rock the head and neck from side to side. When you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and just observe. Slowly rise. And just come to find a comfortable seat and keep the eyes closed. Come back to the intention of our class. I give myself permission to feel. When we close our hearts off to the world, in order to protect ourselves from the bad experiences or the uncomfortable moments, we're actually turning our heart off to accept and experience the good, the positive as well. Practice letting yourself feel and letting yourself receive and start to bring your heart space into balance. Let go of lack, let go of scarcity. Take an inhale, sweep the arms out and up and just draw in the energy of this practice. Cup that energy in the palms of your hands as you bring them to your heart space. Thumbs, find a connection with the heart. Cultivate a deep sense of gratitude here for your body, for your mind, and for your breath. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank yourselves for allowing the space and the time to make it to the mat. It's the best gift you can give yourself. And thank you for your support in watching this video. Keep feeling into the body, feel into those experiences. Give yourself the permission to accept love. Keep making magic in this world from your space at your own pace because it is exactly what the world needs. Namaste.